From Fond du Lac to the Dells to Green Bay and Outagamie County, dozens of volunteers are continuing to search for this little boy, Elijah Vu. Yeah, the three-year-old was reported missing from Two Rivers more than three weeks ago. Vu's mother, Katrina Bauer, and Jesse Vang, the man who was caring for him when he went missing, are both scheduled to be in Manitowoc County Court tomorrow for preliminary hearings. The two are charged with child neglect. As part of our continuing coverage, Fox 11's Emily Matesic explains why volunteers refuse to give up their search for the toddler. What brought me out is just looking at the little boy and his eyes and the innocence. The disappearance of Elijah Vu continues to weigh heavily on the hearts of many in Northeast Wisconsin. Since I'm from the area and I have a four and a half year old son myself, so um, I figure I, I want to help. And we all have kids, um, some have grandkids and just going out here to, to help and um, we'd want anybody to do that for our families. Close to 25 volunteers comb the more than 700 acres of the Bubolts Nature Preserve in Grand Chute, looking for anything that could help find Elijah Vu. We have been kind of off the trail, um, so we've been looking in places that maybe wouldn't be on the beaten path to try to see if we can find any evidence. One volunteer even put a drone in the air to check hard to reach areas. The search, very organized to make sure as much ground as possible was covered. They kind of divided it into like four quadrants and sent groups in each quadrant to try to make it a little bit easier. The search area is rugged and vast and according to volunteers, a bit overwhelming. Right the Grand Chute yeah, so Police right Department right. showing up at the search, acting as a liaison for the searchers, not only offering advice to volunteers if they find something suspicious, but also willing to check things out too. We're not partaking in the search today. We're just assisting the uh, citizen volunteers who are out here searching, giving their time to help find things. Uh, and anything that they find, they can run it through us and we can help them out and point them in the direct direction if anything is found. While volunteers know they're looking for a needle in a haystack and they don't even know if this is the right haystack, they feel they still need to try. It can be a little frustrating the longer you're out here and you don't find anything, but um, at least I feel I feel better knowing that I'm doing something to try to help, um, try to help find them. You never know. You never know what could could be. So have to keep trying until we have a answer or a solution. And while these volunteers might not be able to search every day, they say they'll always be on the lookout until Elijah Vu is found. In Grand Chute, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. As the search for Elijah continues, police remind the public they continue to follow up on all tips from the public. Anyone who may have seen Elijah or know where he is is urged to call the tip line number that's on your screen, 844-267-6648. And there is a vigil for Elijah scheduled for this weekend, a candlelight vigil and balloon release planned for Saturday night in Two Rivers. It's being held at Walsh Field at 6.30. Okay, so talk a little bit about what brought you out today. Uh, what brought me out is just looking at the little boy and his eyes and the innocence. And if there's, you know, any possibility of anything out here. So if there's closure or a more positive outcome, that would be even better. But, um, and we all have kids, um, some have grandkids and just going out here to, to help. And um, we'd want anybody to do that for our families. Yeah, I mean, you know, police aren't really giving people, I mean, yesterday I was with a group that was up in Green Bay, today your folks mm -hmm. are here, I know there's searches in Fond du Lac. Mm -hmm. I, do you feel like there's any, I, you're any closer, any, any of these groups are any closer? Because police haven't really said, like, you know, don't waste your time up in Green Bay or don't, you know, do you wish you had more information to go on before you, you come out and do these searches? Well, I think there's probably stuff they know that they're not able to release. Um, so you just go with what you can. And otherwise, if I was thinking they weren't doing something, why would I bother coming out? Yeah. So, so what are you looking for when you're out here? Are you... um, well, we're looking for if anything looks like it's freshly dug up, um, broken off, um, which you got to be careful because this is deer country and other little critters and snakes and different things I've heard are out today. Um, so, yeah, we just keep looking and see if anything looks amiss. Are you hopeful? Hopeful? Um, probably, probably not at this time for the length of time since, what, the 20th of February? So, 
Um, but you never know. You never know what could could be. So have to keep trying until we have a answer or a solution. Yeah, I mean, because if he was, you know, if he wandered off himself, I mean, someone would have found that. You know, he's a three-year-old, right? He's not going to just. Someone would have seen something or would have found something mm -hmm. related to him. But if, I mean, if he was taken, you just never know where he could be, I guess, right? Right, right. Just where he's hidden or something. But if she has a history, the mama history here when she was younger, who knows? I think that's why they're, they're looking here is what I've heard. But maybe more at the debriefing at noon, you'll know more. But uh, that's about all I know. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, thank, you. thank you.